if you're somebody that streams directly from your PlayStation console and you want to have overlays so that way your streams look more professional, then in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do just that utilizing Lightstream, which is now a free platform that's not only going to allow you to stream to multiple platforms all at once, but it will also allow you to have overlays as well as alerts without the need of any type of capture cards. Now, in order to set this up, you are going to have to have either a cell phone, a tablet or a PC, just so that way you can add in your alerts as well as your overlays. And once you set this up, you can just utilize your phone to monitor and control your stream. And so what you're going to do is head on over to the official website, golightstream.com. And I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below so that we can go directly to this page. And so what you're going to do is click on the button that says start streaming for free. And it's going to then bring you to a page where you have to log in with your Twitch account. And so once you click join, you'll be met with this particular screen right here. Now to add in your overlays, what you're going to do is come over here on the top right hand corner. And then you will see that you have like four options here. You can click on the first option. That's going to be your design. Uh, you'll see that you have a logo right here on the on the bottom right hand corner. You can actually change the position of this. So you can do like the top left, the top right, um, bottom left, or even the bottom right. And if you are displaying a name on your canvas, for example, if I were to do Trevor Shad right here, then you can also change the color of um, how it looks. You can do completely black, you can do white. It's really up to you, or you can just leave it off. And then last but not least, you'll see that we have background options. Uh, so you can click on this right here. And then let's say you want to see that background can just click on one of these so you do this and you'll see we have this nice background border right here or you can just click on one of these other options to change that so that's really up to you as to which one you want to do all of these options are free uh, inside of Lightstream. now for your overlays what you're going to do is come up here to the second option which says uh, produce and then you will see that you have an option for intros outros and intermission screens these are 100% free inside of Lightstream. So if I were to click on this, you will see I have a starting soon screen. I have an ending screen and then I have an intermission screen. The way on how you can add this inside of your hotbar is by clicking on the little star icon that's right next to this number right here. So if I click on the star, you will see that it shows up right here and I can just toggle it on and off freely and so you can just choose whichever one that you want uh, but for my starting soon screen I have this purple one right here and then if I scroll down you will see that I have an option for alerts so you can actually use the built-in alerts that Lightstream already has set for you which is very convenient or if you want to have your own custom alerts I'll show you how you can do that later but if you want to test out the alerts, you will see that there is a little eye icon that's right next to um, each and every one of these. You can click on it and it's automatically going to bring up the example of what the follow alert is going to look like whenever somebody follows your stream. So you can check each one of these just to make sure you, know, you want them. So if you want one for follows, for cheers, for raids, etc., you can activate these or you can just turn them off just by clicking on it. And then you can change the position as to where you want them. So personally, I like mine at the top middle, but you can put yours at the bottom middle if you decide to do that as well. Okay, so if you're someone that is looking for overlays to add to your stream, then I would highly recommend checking out Hexium. Now, this video is not sponsored by Hexium whatsoever, but Hexium does offer a wide variety range of different types of overlays, alerts, transitions, panels, and so much more. And they do have a free section as well. In fact, for this particular video, we're going to be utilizing this overlay right here. So if you actually want to download one of these overlays, I will leave a link down in the description below so that way you can go directly to this page and you can check out some overlays to add to your stream. And so to add your overlays inside a live stream, there's only two ways on how you're able to do this. The very first way is by adding static images, which you've either downloaded from another website like Hexium, or maybe you've created outside of like Canva and you can add them inside by clicking this plus icon right here and you can drop your files in here such as this 
And once you've added them inside of Lightstream, you'll see that you can upload those five files. It's going to show up right here on this corner and you can just click done. And then you will just click on it and you will see that we have an ending soon screen. We have a current offline screen, a BR back screen, as well as a starting soon screen. Now, the only thing about this is that if you have a overlay like this, unfortunately you're not going to be able to resize your canvas to fit this so this is not going to work for us now if you have the paid version of Lightstream, then you will be able to actually change and freely resize your canvas to fit an overlay such as this but because of the fact that we're under the free version we're just not able to do this so we can actually go ahead and we can delete this and we can just work with those four scenes right here now the second way is by adding in a url link which we will get from exola so what you're going to do is you're going to come right here you're going to click this it's going to bring you to the exola login page which you can either log in with your twitch account and once you're logged in and want to authenticate with your twitch you will then be met with this particular screen right here which you can come over to the left hand side. You're going to come all the way down to overlay and you're going to come to the right hand side and you're going to add an overlay. You're going to give your overlay a name and you're then going to give it a live background. You're also going to get an editor background. And if you want to, you can add by clicking one of these and it's going to give it like a certain theme to it. Or you can just not do one of these at all. You can just leave it alone and you can just click on create overlay. And so you're going to be brought with this particular screen right here. And let's say you want to add in an animated overlay. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this plus icon. You're going to come down to video and you're going to click upload. Once you do that, you're going to go down to your folders. You're going to go to your animated overlays and you'll be able to then add in your screens. So for example, I want to do a starting soon screen. I'm going to go ahead and do this right here. Just add this into the background. We're going to copy the URL link. We're going to come back to Lightstream. We're going to go to the URL. We're going to name this starting soon. And then we're going to add in the link. So once we click save and we click on this, it now is going to bring up our starting soon screen and it's now officially animated. If you want to add this into your hot bar, we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and remove all these. We're going to click on the star and it's now labeled starting soon. So let's say we want to go back into the editor. Now let's say we want to add in a follower alert or some kind of alert into this so that way when somebody follows, if we are just now starting or maybe if somebody's rating and we're just now starting, we can go ahead and click that plus icon again. We can add in an alert and we can just drag this over. Now most overlay packs will automatically have alerts to match the overall theme for that overlay. So if you wanted to add in a specific alert theme then what you can do is click on any of these options or so just click on the arrow and it's going to bring up an option for you to customize it and so for us what we're going to do is click right here under our media where it says replace It's then going to bring up our animations but you want to look for your alerts and so if we were to test this and you're just gonna have to customize this so that way your words fit inside of the alert here. And you can do that by coming over right here, where's this picture icon. It's gonna bring down a drop down menu and you can actually change the media position of the text. And if you wanna have it to where as it's just one single line like this, you're just gonna click um, right here once again on that arrow. And instead of it having two message lines, you're just gonna put it all in one message line and it will show up just like this. And if you want to be able to change on the sound effect, then what you're going to do is scroll down a little bit. It'll give you the option to change the sound effect right here. Just click on the X and then it will give you an option to upload any sound effect that you want to have for your stream. 
you can then change the volume and then you can change the duration on how long it's actually going to appear and you can give it any animations going in and coming out and so if we want to test this we are going to have to come back inside a light stream we are going to have to cancel this so that way this alert doesn't pop up so we click on it bring up the starting student screen come back test and there we have it so there is our follow alert right here now what if you wanted to add in a chat right let's say you want to add a chat to your uh, starting soon screen then you can come down here it'll give you an option for chat it'll bring up a chat box you can just place this wherever you feel as if you want it to go and then you're going to roll that over right here uh you can give it a background color if that's something that you want so all the colors is going to be displayed right here and then you also have an option up here that you can choose so you can give it its own background color and then if i were to go inside of twitch and let's say i just started typing out some random letters you will see that the background color is there um, i'm typing so it's now giving me my chat in real time which also displays right here as well now if we wanted to stop this from disappearing we can actually come over to these settings and then we'll be able to change the duration we can also do the reverse direction so instead of it coming from the top as you see here we can actually have it come from the bottom which you see right here and then we can do the profile icon the platform icon so if you're multi-streaming let's say you're streaming a kick as well as twitch um, it will display the icon so that we can know exactly where um, somebody's chatting from you can also show the color of the platform whether that's red purple or green and then you can also show the message as well as the username on separate lines if that's something you want um, for duration we're actually just going to do um 999 just because and then we'll just go ahead and start typing and that's how it will appear so this is basically everything that you need for a starting soon screen and so you're going to do that for all of your other scenes like your br back scene as well as your ending live scene and so when it comes to your gameplay scene i'm going to show you really quickly on how to set up your webcam overlay because that one is really small and a little difficult to set up just because on how small that the canvas size is for your camera okay so we're now back inside of exola and we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in our webcam overlay now as before if you have an animated image we're going to go ahead and do the video if you have a static image you want to go ahead and do image but since I have an animated one, I'm going to do video and then I'm going to add in the webcam overlay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to shrink this all the way down, like as small as it can be. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come right here where it has X and Y. And depending where you want your camera overlay, I'm actually going to place them directly where they need to be. And I'm going to also leave the dimensions on the screen right now. So just put the dimensions for where you want your camera overlay to be. Copy the link URL and paste it inside of Lightstream like we did for our starting soon screen and you're done. And so the rest of your scenes is just a rinse and repeat of everything that we've done thus far. And so with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. Now, if you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to give this a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well as leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And if you want to be able to live stream on other platforms like Kick, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or even TikTok, make sure you click on this playlist right here. And I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how you're able to do that for free.